The phrase rug rat is crazy. Like you're literally calling your kid a little rat that rolls around on the rug, crawls around scurrying like a rat on the rug. That's kind of crazy. There's a mouse that's been living in my windowsill. It keeps me up at night. I had to sleep in the guest room last night. I think I'm, I'm gonna buy a gun and shoot it. Cut me open, I bleed red. Not because I'm human and because all of our blood is red, but because I love YouTube. Cut me open, I'll bleed YouTube red butterfly. To my heart, I must be the public i'm reminded with how bad i am at being in the public like tonight this this couple of comp was i can't talk tonight this couple was complimenting me and they were being really nice to me and i was like and when the girl even said that she cried i was surprised by how many people cried tonight i made a lot of people cry i'm not used to making that many people cry usually it's just like my mom and lonnie my step aunt crying they cried too but some other people like at least two other people cried i mean at least four people cried tonight Anyway, she was like saying that she, I was like, you guys look really cool. You look like you hike. They're like, we farm. I was like, oh, even cooler. I'm just barely getting into gardening, but like, that's a goal. And they were like all weirded out by me after that. I'm like, guys, I'm, I just say what I think and you look like you hike. And I meant it as a compliment. And then if they farm, like they probably hike. Yeah, that's cool. There's this crazy lady. <laughs> She comes up to me and she strokes my arm in the slowest, craziest way. She had to be fucking wasted. And she, this was at a brewery, so it would be funny. She strokes my arm like this and she goes, thank you for the music. <laughs> and she spit all over me. She was saying other crazy shit. I blacked out. I can't tell you what she said after that. <laughs> I literally blacked out. But then after she left, the whole table busted up laughing. It was me and my cousin and my sister and Mali and Kiara. And we all busted up and i remember at the end she said when i came back in for a second i remember she said um that she was gonna um like get my contact info and she didn't and i wonder if it was because we laughed i wonder if we made her feel bad i'm sorry if we did but like <laughs> at least i held in my laughter until she left it was fucking nutty it was nutty and there were other bands too that there were are people that are going to be playing at the music festival shady grove this year and they complimented me and I'm excited to watch their set and have them watch me maybe. Except for I'm opening the festival, first day, first act. And so nobody's going to watch me. Everyone's still going to be filing in or not even there yet. But it's kind of okay because it's like low pressure then. Like it's not a lot of people. And then I can just party the rest of the weekend. Like I don't have to like wait in suspense for my set. I just play and then like I'll just like set up my fucking tent and camp and have a good fucking time. And, like, I'll also, like, be there first to set up my tent. So I'll probably get a good camping spot, sing my little songs, and then, yeah, then just party for the rest of the weekend. But when they told me tonight that I was opening, I, like, made a face. Because <laughs> I can't not make a face because I just wear my emotions on my face where they belong. And the guy was like, well, if you, like, play, I know, he was like, I know, but if you keep playing for us more in the future, you'll get better spots, and we only have two solo acts this year, it's you and another guy, so you're playing first on Friday, and he's playing first on Saturday, so it makes sense, I am just a solo girl, and I'm not that entertaining, so I get it, 
I wonder if the other solo act is hot. <laughs> Dude, I'm so boy crazy. It's like I'm fucking ovulating, but I'm not. I'm in menopause. I don't know why I'm feral. Feral. Oh my gosh, do you remember that guy that was in the crop top that my sister was trying to get me to go with? He was there again tonight, but he didn't watch me sing. He wasn't there till after I sang. But then my, my sister's like, dude, that's him. And I was like, dude, you should date him because he's blonde. I don't want a fucking blonde. But he dated this girl that's like super nice and really vegan. So I'm like, oh, we would definitely <laughs> get along. Um, I actually found out he is not gay today, which is crazy, crazy surprise. I feel like he let me pick him though. Okay, <laughs> wait. He's blonde, but he might let me beg him. <laughs> Ugh, no, I'm gonna have to throw our babies in the river if they come out blonde. We can't have that. Oh, and guess what I was staring at the entire set? Guess what was right in my line of sight the entire set? One, two, three, a box car. So, of course, the entire set, I'm thinking, I'm gonna torture someone in this. I'm gonna torture someone in this. I'm gonna put someone in the. I'm going to torture that mustache, man. Well, someone did just follow me. Some local, some pokal did just follow me on Instagram. And I'm like, is this you? But he has a full beard. And it's throwing me off in the profile picture. And I don't know if he looks the same. But maybe it was someone that was there tonight. Because it definitely is a pokal. But maybe they're just following me. And they're just a pokal. And it has nothing to do with tonight. I don't know. Anything else happened tonight? Anything else? I hit some vapes. Going to be real with you. I hit some vapes. I shouldn't have. It wasn't even worth it. So, I mean, they're kind of tasty. But you can just smell it. What else? What else? I think that's about it. It was cute for my little circles to collide. My cousin and my sister hanging out with my two friends. They've never, like, really, like... Well, my sister has, like, met my bestie. But, like, not the other one. And my cousin hasn't met either of them. And they kind of, like, see my friend Kiara's baby. Like, not the in real life, but pictures. So... It's all cute. Yeah. I don't know. Everyone was really nice to me. And I'm really excited to play at Shady Grove. My first music festival. When I was in preschool, a boy asked me, what's your favorite color? I said blue. He said, blue can't be your favorite color. Blue is a boy color. I said, there's no such thing as boy and girl colors. And so did this other kid. This other kid, his name was Andrew. And I used past tense because he died of cancer but he defended me he said yeah there's no such thing as boy or girl colors and he goes my favorite color is blue too and we bonded and we became friends but then he died of cancer in preschool preschoolers should not die of cancer and his mom was crying and i told her well at least in heaven he'll have hair crazy crazy that's not the point of the story the point of the story is the girl who said there's no such thing as boy and girl colors and the girl whose favorite color was blue in preschool i by the time I was like five or six and watching TV, I thought I couldn't watch Zack and Cody because I thought it was a show for boys. I thought I could not watch that. And so what I would do is I would put on the TV and then I would go in another room and I would sneak around the corner. Like I would sneak in the doorway and I would peek and watch it through the, another room. And I feel like if I was in another room just peeking and like not having my body in the room, then it wouldn't count and I could watch the boy show, which is crazy. Because my favorite show at that same era was Drake and Josh. How is Zack and Cody a boy show but Drake and Josh isn't? Because Megan's in it? Because Miranda Cosgrove? Cos Whoa. Glitching. Whoa. Anyway, I'm watching all, I'm rewatching all Sweet Life now. I did end up watching it later in life. And especially Sweet Life on Deck. I was such a Sweet Life on Deck girl. I remember when the movies came out. I got so excited. There's multiple, right? Not just one. I feel like there's two. Uh, anyway movie maybe when it came out and i was so excited my feet are so gross who want feet pics they cost 40 times more on my feet look like <laughs> they look like the actual asphalt they don't even look like they have asphalt on them my feet are a road that you could walk on some guy called me ma'am and it made me feel old but then right after some girl was like you're 24 i was getting a car deal i thought you were 19 I didn't even order alcohol. She was just going to card me for being there. I'm like, I'm singing. <laughs> you can't card me. I've been singing in breweries since I was a teenager. For real. But that was funny. She was cool. Her name was Monty. She was smoking a cigarette. And she shook my hand at my cousin. She was really cool. I liked her vibe. We all liked her vibe. We all wanted to be her friend. But we were all too nervous to ask for her Instagram. But shout out Monty. <laughs>
Oh my gosh, another person there was this journalist who I shall not name because we have beef, but he was acting like we don't have beef and my grandpa told me that that's what journalists do. And I, it makes a lot of sense, so I'm not going to say anything because I'll also act like we don't have beef, but me and this journalist do have beef. And I at first I was like maybe he forgot we have beef, but then he brought it up. He was like I wrote an article about you about a protest that you did with your boyfriend at the time and I was like oh yeah yeah I remember and he was like I loved that you guys did that and I was like in my head I'm like really like really I think I even said out loud really and he's like or he said I love I loved that and I was like really and he's like no not that the kid got shot not that the cops shot I was like that's not what I thought you meant and he's like oh well I just love that you guys did that and, but I'm like, really? Because in the article, you really didn't like it. And, like, he made me look bad. Like, he showed up before the protest even started. And so there was only, like, four people. So then he wrote, he's like, there was only, like, four people. And then he interviews the cops, which makes sense. You need to show both sides of, like, like as a journalist. I understand interviewing the cops. But then the cops were like, I think the fact that nobody showed up means that the town is on our side and we should shoot more kids. I mean, he didn't say that last part, but that's basically was the fucking energy of it. <sighs> Anyways, but then on the local news, like on like the actual TV, you could see everyone marching. So they look like fucking idiots. And I called them. I called the editor because I know the editor of the Idaho State Journal too, or at least I used to. I he probably doesn't remember anymore. But at the time, um, I was in cahoots with him, and I was like, "You need to have him edit this. Like, you need it needs to be edited." So then he edited it and was like, "Apparently, more people showed up later. We were told, but." I don't really believe him. Was like the energy of that. Um, I'll have to find the articles. It's fucking crazy. It was fucking crazy, guys. The cops took out their tasers first, as they should have done to de-escalate. But it's so stupid. The kid shouldn't have even been tased. It was a traffic stop, and he was a passenger, and he fled. Let the man flee. He really doesn't need to be shot if he flees at a traffic stop. And he was scared because he had weed, and he was just a teenager, and he was Mexican. It's like, how are you going to shoot someone that's running away from you? <laughs> like, that's fucking crazy. They pulled out their tasers first, and then they fucking tased each other. It's a fucking cartoon. This fucking town. I swear to God. Anyway, not the point. The point is, the journalist does not like me and did not like that protest and made it very clear. Like, it was, it was like, not unbiased. <laughs> I'll tell you what the article even though he tried to make it out and he told me he loved me tonight like i like i was loading up my shit and then i was like driving my car out of the alley and back into an actual parking spot and he was like oh it's lex i love you you don't like me you literally don't like me you don't like my politics like that's what journalists do like oh uh, that, that's such like a neurotypical thing like i feel like i'm feeling very like I just don't understand lying and I don't understand fakeness. I never have and I never will. I mean, I get it. People do it to, like, gain advantage over people. People manipulate. But I'll still never understand it. I'm just going to be living on this earth for, like, another fucking 40 years. At least, probably. Sadly. And <laughs> happily. Um, I don't know. I, I don't think. I think I'll die not understanding fakeness and lies. But. But I have to be nice to him because, so nobody's saying anything <laughs> because I have to be nice because he's going to be the one writing about my singing. And he's, if he says something mean, I guess I'll live because I already know he doesn't like me. But I would rather the Idaho State Journal have nice things to say about my singing and then I get invited. I mean, I don't think that's going to be the main thing that makes me get invited back. But I'd like to do a good job and I'd like for everyone to say I do a good job and then I get invited back and I don't get an opening spot. It'd be really cool to play at night when I'm not so sweaty. I felt like my fingers were sliding all over the banjo. And I want people to see me. Oh my gosh, my right palm is itching. Maybe it'll come true. But also part of me is, like, I'm so glad this year, though, that I'm opening and it's going to be so little people and so low pressure. Like, it'll probably just post, mostly be my people and I love my people. Like, sometimes I'm, like, staring at strangers and I start getting nervous and I, like, I'm very serious when I sing and then I just like look over at my sister and like I just laugh and I start having fun with it so I'll like it being like mostly my people this year and then maybe next year I'll be brave enough 
to sing in front of more people and they'll like me enough to let me but i don't know also guys i guess i'm not fucking playing the lavender festival this year because that's probably happening in like a couple weeks and nobody's talked to me about it i was like really thought they would invite me back considering all i did for them last year guys it's not even a mouse it's living in my window well it's a vole look at this fucker get out of my life just got a text from the girl who does the lavender festival they want me to sing but it's the same dates as shady grove i'm saying yes anyway i can do both right i'm crazy this is i'm gonna regret this i'm literally like high in bed and i'm like i'm lazy i'm so tired from singing last night i just wanted to be high in bed all day and i'm like yeah i'll sing all weekend <laughs> <laughs> You're literally wearing a bone. Okay, that's gross. That's been in your dirty purse. <laughs> Guys, I was running at the wellness complex, my spot, you know. Everyone's spot, the spot of the people, the spot of the proletariat. Anyway, and I saw them signing up for 5K, and I was like, is this today? And they're like, yeah, 9 o'clock. And I was like, can I sign up? And they were like, yeah. So now I'm like spontaneously running a 5k, which is fucking crazy. Well, I like I've ran 5k plenty of times before, so I know I can do it. But it's just like crazy that I'm at the point in my life where I just see a 5k going on and I'm like, sign up. Um, guys, I didn't even ask what this 5k was for, but it's looking quite sad. I'm just gonna have to look at these pictures of dead, sad people and think about how our medical system has failed us while I run. I might close my eyes. Actually, I think a lot of these people are alive because this is actually for organ donors. So actually, I guess it is happy, happy organ donor run, everyone. <laughs> Guys, I won! I won! That was my first 5K! Guys, there's bubbles here. I drew on rocks. What a great day. And I won. My grandparents are never going to believe me. I was going to, I already planned on coming home and saying I won. That's a fucking joke. And now it's not a fucking joke. I got a fucking gift certificate to Jaker's. What can I eat there? I'm not ready to go in the house. They're not going to believe me. They're not going to believe that I won that shit. I used to walk the mile in PE. At 14 years old, I walked the mile in PE. 24 years old, just won a 5K. I hope there wasn't some sort of award ceremony or something or hangout that I was supposed to be at after. I told them when they were writing my name down, I was like, I'm going home now and no one told me not to. So hopefully I didn't miss anything because I really wanted to take a shower. Today, my first 5K. Next, I don't know, Iron Man. <laughs> Also, that was a joke, and I just don't want to seem like I'm bragging. Like, I've been joking this whole time because, like, I literally ran that in 33 minutes. Like, that's not a fast time, um, even as a woman. Like, it just was not a stiff competition, to tell you the truth, and not to not be being mean. That's just honesty because I won it. I, I won it. I ran it in... Because I ran it in 33 minutes. Like, that's not a good time. It's my best time, though. It's my PR because my old PR, 35. Um, but next goal i'm the next 5k i run i'm doing it in 30 minutes that's what's gonna happen and it's gonna be awesome that is a weird fucking rainbow okay okay weird fucking rainbow okay <laughs> I needed to stand knee deep in the river about this. Whatever this is. Whatever this means. Okay, so there was this boy, well, multiple boys, but there was this one specific boy who gave me a Book of Mormon with his phone number in it. Um, and obviously I just like to pretend it never happened. But sometimes I think about him when he comes up on my Instagram because I follow his wife. And I was friends with his wife because we both stand One Direction in high school. And so, of course, we were best friends. Because um, I'm best friends with anyone that stands One Direction. <laughs> My friendship was very easy to attain in high school, actually. Contrary to popular belief. Anyway, so I'll see them. And I'm like, oh, I'm so cute. So cute. I'm so cute. I meant 
they're so cute. I'm so glad that they found each other. I'm glad he found his like Mormon wife. I'm glad I did not need to be a part of that. I'm so happy for them. But today, I'm jealous because they're in Tokyo. I was in Tokyo. Does this mean that if I would have converted to Mormonism for him, I would be in Tokyo right now? Get that snow off of that mountain. It's June. It's the middle of June. Oh, somebody's gonna need to mother mother nature. She can't just go around doing whatever the fuck she wants. Except for that cloud right there. That's good. <laughs> can hear me over the wind. Sir, what do you think about my idea? We create a website on the internet. You don't know what either of those things are, but hear me out. And we write, us as we as in women, we write down the names of men who say they're not ready for a relationship. And then you won't waste your time on men anymore. What do you think about this? Well, I don't care about your opinion anyways, because you're not a girl. And you don't even have a laptop. Y'all got laptop? No, y'all don't got laptop. They're never gonna know what it's like to play Dungeons and Dragons. When I was like six, I had to be seven or younger based off of the house that this happened in. I had a dream that I was in a museum walking around with my sister and I was so hungry and I couldn't find any food. And it was like that kind of hunger where it's like so sharp and painful and like you just want to like punch something and you're so hangry. Anyway, walking around, walking around, then a witch appears and the witch says, I'll give you a graham cracker if you give me your sister. And I was like, okay. <laughs> and then I eat the graham cracker and then I have like post eat clarity, post food clarity. And I go back to the witch and I go, I want my sister back. And she goes, okay, well then give me the graham cracker back. And I go, can't eat it. And she goes, well, I turned your sister into that graham cracker. You ate your sister. And I start crying and I wake myself up crying and I go into my sister's room and she's like three years old. So she doesn't know what the fuck's going on. But I'm like, I'm so sorry in my dream. I traded you for a graham cracker. Never knew where that came from until I was just watching Sweet Life of Zack and Cody and there's an episode where the where Zach throws a mummy out the window and then replaces it with Cody. And then the mummy gets swapped for a doll. And then Zach thinks the mummy turned the the his brother into a doll. And then he has to like grapple with the fact that it's his fault. Um anyway, I just realized that that's where that dream came from. And then that plus the mummy episode of Goosebumps is where the dream came from where my mom was dating a mummy and I really didn't like it. And that one also stems from the fact that <sighs> that one also stems from the fact that my mom was dating very questionable men during that period. So everyone on the internet's always like, oh my gosh, I just came up with the most fire idea for a transition. And then it's just, okay, this part of the song, you don't have makeup on. And then this part of the song, makeup. <sighs> Genius. It's like, oh my god, how did you come up with that? It's like, everyone's been doing that since Vine. But like, oh my god, how did you come up with that? What do you guys' stretches sound like? My stretching sounds like this. It's kind of dinosaurish. I like to think that's my stretch sound personally. This is bullshit. Not my run, but the fact that there's fucking snow in the mountains. This is bullshit. Um, this lady just came up to me and said, look at how you're dressed. I'm just normal. It's not my fault you're cold because you're not running. I'm running. Ah, uh, the storm yesterday destroyed the lilacs. The gardener's meeting is going to be so sad today. It literally snowed in June. Oh my God. Gardeners are gonna be sad. <laughs>